Hello and welcome to another great video. I've got some awesome, inspiring nature to share with you today. I've also been working on helping my friend build this solar project. Uh, you know, we went online, we found some great companies, and the one we went with was Signature Solar, and we decided to um, buy that and get to work on building it. So I want to walk you through some of our process of getting the setup made for the solar system and we'll follow up in a future video with the rest of the content but just got this awesome friend pete he's a great guy awesome carpenter and we just loved working together and making this awesome creation that i wanted to share with you today and so let's go ahead and dive right into it and i appreciate you watching so first you got to get out there right now i got to tell you honestly it's a smooth road uh, most of the way up but when you get out to Pete's place, it's a rocky road. And if there was a plant-based ice cream, they need to call it Pete's Rocky Road because it is one heck of an adventure to get up on that hillside. Take a look at this hillside view right here. You can see some beautiful nature, of course. The view up there is absolutely tremendous. The clouds and the scenery is always changing. Uh, the colors of the Beauty, beautiful landscape are saturated after fresh rain. We got a lot of rain out there. I even got pelted in the face by some <laughs> some incredible amounts of hail as I was hauling some lumber up uh, to burn in the fire to keep the, the house warm, of course. But uh, as you can see, it's a, definitely a nice way to live up there on the hillside out of the city. I like to get out of the city. It really gives you a fresh perspective on life and you know, it gives you a lot less to be concerned and worried about. It's the, uh, the hillside life uh, with my friend Pete. Getting that work done. How we doing, Pete? Getting it done. Getting it done. Getting it done in the sunshine. Getting them decking screws in, huh? We are. What size are them screws? Well, I got, I got working with two and a half. Here. We don't have many twos left. Hey, Pete. Yeah. Give me your smile. Give me your best smile, huh? <laughs> Loving it, man. Loving it. Before we get too far into the building project, let's take a step back and talk about the barrel situation. See that opening right there? That's where the barrel's gonna go. You might be wondering, what's the barrel? Well, the barrel is for the wood. That way he's got a spot to put his wood when he brings it in the house. Throw the barrel in. Say hi to Pete, would you? <laughs> Can I get a hello there? So we're, we're working on building that attachment. And then just outside of that is going to be the room for the solar. And he's also going to have some room for food storage. And so we got wood on the left. And we're going to have some wood on the right. And you got a nice little cozy fire there, of course. Got to have that. And uh, yeah, just makes for some really nice scenery and gets the mess out of the way. Back here is going to be the opening to the doorway for the rest of the solar housing. So we'll walk right through there and uh, boom, you'll be right inside the uh, solar room with the uh, solar lighting. All right, getting it done. Got the barrel. Got the barrel in there, man, with some of that wood. Got the barrel. Yeah. Fire is a miraculous, radiant gift from God, radiating beautiful light and infrared heat that penetrates the body and soothes the soul. It is a wonderful sight to behold. Oh, how I love the fire. Sometimes it would get late and we'd be able to watch the miraculous sunset and continue to work after the sun went down. I took my photography and videography lighting and hooked it up outside for some good flood lighting. And I uh, was able to continue to shovel and pick dirt out of the ground to create a level playing field for us to build the uh, add-on to the house for uh, the solar system to be protected and of course be out of the elements so that it lasts a long time would get pretty cold outside and nippy so we'd go back inside to enjoy that warm fire 
and have some amazing food creations. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. What do we have here? A whole lot of goodness. Those are some. We got some pea sprouts. We got some shredded carrot. Oh, that's steamed carrot. There's some rice, hemp seed, and we got the whole. We got the whole mix here, guys. That last one was Pete's creation food baby. I decided to do a plant-based pizza and uh, a few other nights I made some plant-based burgers and some potatoes and all kinds of delicious amazing goodies that I'm sure he'd love to tell you about in part two. <laughs> you gotta start the day off right with plenty of energy. Nice fruity bowl of oatmeal with some hemp seeds, solid lunch, and of course, some plant-based burgers. That's what I'm talking about. Wake up around nine, sleep in a little bit to get some extra rest. But I'll tell you what, not every day we could get to work because the weather oh, was changing. I think we're in it. A lot of rain out there. We sure are. Rain day after day, but it was a good time to take a break from my body and my mind to rest. and get some of the basics done, hauling the wood up and preparing for the next step in the project, laying out the piers and preparing for the groundwork, as you might say, setting up a strong foundation. But I can't go without saying how miraculous Mother Nature was able to present herself with just astounding clarity and beauty. Boy, that is bizarre. Look at that sun, man. Whoa. Look at that shore. Oh. Do you see it? Look beyond the camera. Oh, yeah, I see it. Look beyond the camera. Oh. That's beautiful. Whoa. Oh, my God. Get a picture. You can get a, a still picture off the video. That is such a trip. Man. so grateful and appreciative of getting to come out and have this experience but after a little while you can get back outside the warmer days and the nicer days and get back to work so we had to get the uh, piers out of course dig the holes level it out and start building the foundation the framework for the floor to go in and the walls and the ceiling to go up after that. Would they make the fire? The bonfire? Once again, thankful I packed my lights. Helped us finish the job late on my last days of stay okay. there to get the projects as far as we could. He's going to finish it up. We're going to follow up in a part two, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like. Share this video. Really do appreciate it. And I'll keep hauling this stuff up this hill. <laughs> get it on the new platform gonna slot in three batteries they're 92 pounds each pretty heavy load I gotta say but we're getting them moved 
and uh, I'm going to stack them up inside that battery case and then eventually they'll get hooked up to the bus bar inside of the battery housing rack. And that's where we stack them. But we're going to get it unboxed, show you what's inside. Take a look. It's pretty cool. It's a 5.12 kilowatt hour battery. <coughs> it's a mega battery. Mega. Oh, good, it's wrapped. Mega battery. Oh, goodness. Wow. Love it. All right, time to unbox the three big boys. And the grow watch. I love them. Can you believe that? 5,120 watt hours, man. Technology. Technology. High technology. John's going to do it. There he goes. Sweet or what? That's some serious power. Is that sweet? Stacking them, man. Sweet. Stacking them. <laughs> They're stacking them. Shax, man. Shax is doing the stacks, man. Stacks, man. Shax with the stacks. Got the grow what? What you got over here, Pete? What's this big thing next to you? That's a that's a mega panel. That's a 400 watt panel with a 500 watt max capacity. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the. With, 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 with 100, it's a 400 watt panel uh, with a 100 watt reflective capacity. Show me the back side. Flip flip that around so we can see it. Look at the back side. Extra, extra power. Look at all that extra power. Whoa, and it's glass. Whoa, <laughs> it's all glass, man. Wow, it looks, it really looks really good. This is the tal Talisun or Tail Sun. This is a 395 watt rated power on that side, and then you can get another 100 watts out of the other side, something like that. Anyway. Looking good, Pete. Looking good. Looking, Look, looking good, feeling good. Looking good, feeling good, man. And guess what? We got one. That's just one. That's one. Man. That's one. And that's that's a mono. That's not a polycrystalline panel. That's a monocrystalline panel. And then take a look at this over here. We got three more. Wait. Three more. One, two, three. Sitting and awake. Four panels. Three batteries. One grow watt. One man. One dream. One Absolutely. vision. Absolutely. Hey, <laughs> loving it, man. Been waiting for this for a long time. Loving it, man. A long, there's a long time coming. Long time coming. And thanks for your help, Sean. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be right at this point right now without you. We did a tremendous amount of work just to get this platform down, to get the get get this equipment on the platform. And uh, man, I appreciate your enthusiasm, your your electricity. <laughs> hey, don't stand too close to this panel, man. <laughs> He'd be charging this panel up, man. It's going to be glowing. Oh, it's going to be glowing, baby. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. But, yeah, what a tremendous amount of work. What a tremendous amount of uh, uh, influence. And uh, um, um, yeah, what's the word? <laughs> you, really, you pushed me. You pushed me to the limits. And uh, so I appreciate it.
All right. Thank you very much, Pete. I've had a lot of fun building this here with you. Yeah. I've always wanted to help build a solar system. We did some carpentry work, which is a lot of fun. Right. Threw all them screws in, leveled it out. Oh, got we? the platform ready, and now we're gonna you're gonna put the walls up, put oh. the roof on, walls. open the door up to the house. You got it. The uh, the passageway into the house, the right? Passageway, so baby. This is gonna be a dually. This is a dually. Uh, it's gonna be a pantry <clears throat> with a wall uh, slash um, solar equipment uh, housing. There we go. And that's what that is. I love it, man. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks for joining me. Thanks. Thanks for being here. You bet, Pete. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Hope right. you enjoyed the video. You take, take care out there. Keep having fun. Maybe you'll get yourself a solar system one day. Do it. Get it. Get it. Stack them. Though we may not have finished the solar system on this run, stay tuned for part two to finish up. I got to see my final sunset out at the hillside before heading down to the lakeside. Stay tuned for that video. I encourage you to get out, eat that healthy, whole foods. It's the way to go. It's the way to do it. Stay healthy, my friends. Get that sun in. Get outside. Feel good in the sun. Get that sunshine in. If you're sitting inside too much, get outside. You know what I'm saying. If you're in a safe area, try some bare feet. Feels good on the feet. Bring the energy of the earth in. And I'm going to leave you with a video of some bananas. Have a great day. <laughs>